Well, good morning, guys. Hope you're having a great day. We're having a good one here. It's a beautiful morning, nice and cool for the first time in, in a while. So we're out here enjoying it. So today we're talking about taking off and landing our spark. So I see on forums occasionally, and I've seen uh, questions in the comments from my viewers and other videos asking uh, questions about taking off and landing and how I do it and how other people do it and so on and so forth. And you know what? That's one of the great things about the Spark is that there's more than one way to do it. It's such a tiny little thing. You can launch it from your hand. You can press the battery button a couple times to, to launch it. There's an automatic button in the DJI Go app that allows you to launch it from there. And there's also manual stick controls that you can use via the remote control. So that is what we're talking about today. One of the most important ones is we're talking about the combination stick controls. How do you guys take off? I'm curious. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Do you guys prefer to use the combination stick commands where you go down and out and that starts the rotors going and then you just use the left stick going up to launch? Or do you prefer to use the automatic takeoff feature built into the DJI GO app? I've been using the automatic feature in the DJI GO app where you just press a button. It says, are you sure you really want to take off? And then you slide over. There's a little slider that comes up and we say, go ahead and take off. And what it does is it goes ahead, launches up about three or four feet in the air and sits there and hovers. That's definitely one way. Now, some of you guys who've been around the DJI drones for a while, know that some of the older versions of the drones didn't have that automatic takeoff feature. They had only the combination stick commands where you had to bring the sticks down and out or down and in. I forget which is which. Is which. But that's one of the great things about some of the newer versions. They've introduced the automatic takeoff. I'm not sure what all versions have that. I know, of course, the DJI Spark has it. I imagine the the Mavic Pro has it. Uh, I imagine maybe the, the newest Phantom has it. I'm not sure on that. Anyways, we're talking about the Spark here. One of my viewers on one of my uh, videos had uh, seen me when I was testing out the Droney, had seen me flying along and then the, the Droney was going back and back and back and then it was kind of in line with the tree and I couldn't tell how close it was getting to the tree. So I just did straight back on both the sticks. The viewer made a comment about, hey, you better be careful that uh, might kill the, the motors and drop your drone out of the sky. And of course, at that point, I was over a pond. And so, you know, he didn't want to see me have to go swimming to retrieve my spark. I uh, appreciate that, appreciate the concern. So we're here to do a little bit more testing on that particular feature. All right, so a lot of you guys know about the automatic takeoff feature that is really kind of the gesture mode way. You put the spark out here in front of you, you double tap the battery right there real quick. It'll look at your face and try and recognize you and then it'll launch itself, okay? So, one, two, it looks for my face, finds my face. and it found me. So that is certainly one way to be able to do it, right? And then if you want to land it, there is a land button right here in the DJI GO app, okay? Up here in the top left corner, or uh, there's the return to home, or there's several different ways of doing the same thing. So I'm just gonna press the land button, and then there's a little slider there that says, are you sure you want to land? And I'm going to say, yeah, let's go ahead and land. So that is the automatic land feature. Now, in a similar vein to how we just did use the automatic uh, land, we can do an automatic takeoff as well. So we can point it away from us. We will use the automatic takeoff button here in the upper left corner. And then it's going to ask me, it's going to say, take off. Ensure that conditions are safe for takeoff. The aircraft will climb to an altitude of four feet and hover in place. And you can do a slide to take off. And there it goes. Now you can do the same thing. I'm, I did that from my palm. A lot of people are going to tell me that's unsafe. So you can do the same thing, setting it on the ground, on the table, anything along those lines, right? And again, if I want to land it, I can press the 
land button, slide to land, and then I can stick my hand under here, not pressing anything, and it'll just automatically land on whatever surface is underneath it. So that could be your hand, that could be the ground, whatever that is. So that is one way to be able to land it as well. So those are the automatic features. The other way to do the same process is we can use the combination stick commands to start the rotors and stop the rotors, but not actually take off and land. So one of the ways you can do that is you do down and out. You'll see it starts the rotors, but it's not actually taking off. Now, if I want to stop them, I can just do the same thing again. So to stop it, you have to, you have to hold it for like a second and a half, I believe it says. Okay, And you can do the same thing, whether that's down and in. And you'll see that that starts them immediately. If I do the down and in, I've got to sit there and hold it for a second and a half. So we do down and out, starts them up, down and out, you can start them, or you can do down and in, starts them, or down and in, stops it. So I can't just take off just by sitting here holding it up, the left stick up. So I cannot just take off, it's turned on, it's, it's ready to go really, but I cannot take off just by using the left stick up. That doesn't work. But I can if I'm on the ground or in my hand and I'm not, I'm not flying, I can use the left stick to press down and hold it and that will stop the rotors. So as an example, we'll start them. So they're sitting there running and all I'll do is just left stick down and hold it and you'll see that it stops. And so that left stick, that is actually what I use when I land it in my palm. So I'll take it, I'll take it off from my palm or wherever, and then I'll bring it back. I'll bring it right here in front of me so that it's facing away from me because if it's facing towards me, the proximity sensor starts going off. I'll have it face away from me, and then when it gets right above my hand, I'll just use the left stick and tell it to go down, and it'll go down into, into that, into my hand, and then once it senses that it's stable in my hand, then it'll stop the rotors. And that's the same thing if you land on a solid surface like a bench or the ground or anything like that. We'll do that again. We'll do down and in, starts it. Now you'll see, it doesn't, when I do the down, it doesn't just immediately stop it, it's a second and a half. And it, that's the same thing for all the combination stick commands to stop the rotors. So all the combination stick commands take a second and a half for it to actually stop the rotors. So you'll see that if, when I press, press them down, 1001, 1002. So it's like a second and a half that it takes for it to kill the rotors. You wanna take off, so you do the, the start the rotors and get them going, and then all you do is left stick up, and there you go. So all, all it takes is once you start it, it's just a little bit of power to, to bring it up and then it'll sit there and hover all day for you. Now one of the things that that viewer was concerned about was if I use the combination stick commands that it's going to drop it out of the sky. So let's go out in the middle of the field out here and let's give that a bit of a try. Okay, so now we're going to put our spark up in the air and we're going to try the combination stick commands to see if we can actually get it to fall out of the sky. Now, I really hope it doesn't fall out of the sky, but in the DJI Spark manual, it does say that if you use the combination stick commands while the spark is in the air, it will stop the rotors and it'll cause it to fall out of the sky. And I think the idea behind having that capability is if it is going out of control, it's about to run into something that's gonna cause a problem and you'd rather just drop it where it is instead of have it run into something, I think that's the idea behind it. I guess we will see, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we don't damage it. So again, it says you have to do the combination stick commands for a second and a half for it to actually stop it. So I'm gonna have to put it up in the air just a little bit. 
Okay, so we're going to do our combination stick commands. We're going to put it up in the air, and we're going to try and see if doing the combination stick commands for a second and a half or longer actually causes it to crash. All right, so we're going to launch it. We do the combination stick moves. Down and out, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It doesn't do anything. Okay, if we do... Down and in, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Nope, didn't do anything. It just went down and back in the circle. So what we're seeing is that it did not kill the rotors, which is probably a good thing in 99.99% of the time, but it's not the behavior that's described in the manual, the DJI manual. It has in there, it says, if you do it while it's in the air, it's gonna it's gonna cause it to crash so it doesn't appear to do that when when it's in the air we can do down and out thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four and it does not cause it to crash and it doesn't matter if we do it down and out or we do down and in the same things that were working when we had it on the bench over there that were causing it to, to cancel are not causing it to, to drop out of the sky. So I think that's a good thing, but it does behave different. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's useful. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing if you're not already a subscriber and hope to catch you on the next video. All right.